Welcome back to the show and welcome back, Karen. Thank you. It's good to see you. Always great to be here. Uh, summertime, uh, great salad. Uh, yes. Before we kind of get into that, so we were kind of talking off camera. Let's talk. Uh -huh. This time of the year, we get a lot of fresh produce. Farmers markets, not only farmers markets, gardens. but in our grocery stores right. mm -hmm. and gardens. Um, I know uh, we're at High V today, and they mm -hmm. really push right. that they buy stuff locally. Locally, we do. locally. so Absolutely. Uh, this time of the year, you're going to get stuff that hasn't traveled uh, 2,700 miles right. to get to your grocery <laughs> store. So it's going to be fresh. So right. Right. even um, you know, kind of get out and look and try right. some different things. And right. we are trying something really that, different. Arugula. That is arugula. Yep. Right. So arugula is a different. really nice tender little leaf, and it's it's kind of something different. You probably recognize it as something that maybe you've seen in other salads, mm -hmm. but this time we're actually just going to use arugula by itself. It's got a little peppery it taste does. to it. It's a little peppery it's taste. Really it's nice. really nice. Uh, nice and crunchy. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice mm -hmm. vein in it, mm -hmm. so it's really nice and right, crunchy. Right. We're doing uh, steak, salad, and tomatoes. That's right. It's really Absolutely. pretty as basic as you yes. can get. Yes, and so. you know, this is a Roma tomato that I've already taken the ends off, but they're just really a nice lower acid tomato, so for those that think, oh, you know, I'm not sure I want a lot of tomato, this is a great, and they're just so easy to chop up. You just chop those up and they can just go right into your salad bowl. Um, and then I also added here some red onion because red onion adds such a nice little crunch. Just throw some of that in too. So. And something else that might be nice mm -hmm. is grill off that red red mm -hmm. onion. That would add a lot of really flavor. You know, one thing that I like to see people do is to take different vegetables, like we're talking about the produce, and make yourself a foil packet. If you put those oh, all together idea. in a foil right, packet, yeah. drizzle it with just a little olive oil and some seasoning, wrap it up, put it on the grill at the same time you're putting your steak on the grill, and you'll have wonderful uh, grilled off that you could actually put on your salad or just eat on top of your steak. Well, let's talk about the steaks because mm -hmm. uh, we're uh, we're kind of going um, swanky today, yes, I guess. We are. <laughs> but, um, so we've got some. With these beautiful prime prime, prime. prime steak. Yeah. Um, you know, beef comes in different levels or grades that we call it. Um, this is actually prime grade, which only about 2% of beef is sold at prime. Prime is more heavily marbled meat, um, which, you know, sometimes people think, well, that's higher fat, but actually the fat in the marbling studies are showing us that the alpha linoleic acid, the ALA, um, type of fatty acid that's in the beef is actually doesn't have that much of an effect on our hearts. So it's a, it's a healthier type of fat. So, and a lot of that fat mm -hmm. cooks out, mm -hmm. I mean, because exactly. that's why you get juice in the bottom of your mm -hmm. pan or right. your grill right. flares up, whatever mm -hmm. it might be. Right. So it's not like you're just eating a whole bunch of right. fat oh, and no, steak. So not. it cooks out. Right. That's where you get your really right. nice flavor right. and juice. Exactly. And salad. when you take and pair that with something that absolutely has no fat, like those salads and all those veggies, you know, it's a nice nutritional profile for the whole meal. And we don't ha you don't have to use prime no, for this not. recipe, of course Right. Not. We also have choice which is um, probably what a lot of people are seeing more all the time. And then we have the select grade as well. Um, all of those, as we reduce in those grades, we reduce the amount of fat, not flavor so much. Um, different people like different things. Prime um, is a very tender, um, more, like I said, heavily marbled meat, whereas your um, choice and your select are, are both going to have wonderful flavor as well. Um, maybe be leaner, so maybe just the, a little denser texture. If you will, but Doesn't matter. still it all a great, good. great experience for eating. So, um, and we grilled them off in the grill pan, and um, th those are fantastic. Grill right. pans are, yeah. are great. It's a real basic recipe. When we come back from break, we'll mm -hmm. kind of put it together okay. and and talk about maybe some great. other options that okay. uh, could go with this. Terrific. You're watching Ag AM in Kansas. We'll see you in just a minute. Welcome back to the show, Karen. Thanks for staying mm -hmm, with us. You bet. Uh, it's not like you wouldn't stay with us because we got to finish That's the right, rest. Right, we got to eat. <laughs> we got to eat. So, uh, okay. So I'm going to dump our arugula okay. that's got some red onions right. and tomatoes in it. I'm going to mix that salad. We're up. just going to kind of dump it, it in here. All those pretty greens yep. on there. Right. We're going to build this salad, and then you can see I've already chopped up some tomato. All right. So we're just going to finish kind of dabbing those and around. Put some more red onion on it. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be a onion. beautiful color. Yeah. Um, and you could add so many. You could add uh, yellow pepper strips to oh, this nice, to yeah. get another color. You could add and lots grill of those different. too. Absolutely, yeah, that Absolutely. would be really nice. Be very nice. Okay, now what we're going to do is take some of this prime grade steak, and we're just going to slice it into nice slices. And this will give our pretty presentation right as we pull that off of this board and put it to our table. Now we cooked two of these. Uh, you can slice this pretty thin mm -hmm. um, and you've already grilled another one off so you could mm -hmm. use the other one right. for, for something else. Absolutely. Or if maybe you grilled yesterday 
and you had a steak left over, right. this would be perfect for your salad. Um, because then you can serve it cold or warm like this one is. Uh, Tri-tip, mm -hmm. another cut, flat right. iron being another mm -hmm. cut, flat that would be, would be great awesome. for yes. this recipe. Uh -huh. We want to remind you, if you're going to use a flat iron, make sure you marinate it for a little while. Uh, it's one of those cuts that takes a marinade really, really it well. Does. It does. So. Um, and, you know, there's lots of, I, I oftentimes tell people, um, even a leftover piece of roast mm -hmm. that maybe you had from Sunday dinner, you could put roast on this and it would be absolutely wonderful. And cook to the temperature you like, mm -hmm. make sure you, you right. temp it. Tint right. it, let it get its beauty's mm -hmm. rest. Mm -hmm. um, balsamic vinegar this dressing. This is a vinaigrette that I've made. It just has balsamic vinegar, um, some Italian seasoning, some really yummy stuff. And we're just going to pour that right over the top of that salad. Uh, beef, it's what's for dinner.com mm -hmm. is where you can get this recipe. We're going to put some shavings Ooh. on it. And, and you know, we're back to our umami because we've got this wonderful aged cheese and that balsamic vinegar. And isn't that a pretty salad?